As researchers, we all want to write our research papers faster and more effectively. We also know that AI tools can really help us in this process. But we have no idea which AI tools should we use, how to incorporate them while writing our research papers, and how to ensure that the quality of our research work is maintained. Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grival. I'm the founder of Visa, and on this channel, I make videos on studying abroad, job readiness, research mastery, and communication skills essentially all those areas where you need to become wiser to succeed in your career. So if any of these topics are relevant to you, you can subscribe to this channel. And now, let's learn how to write a research paper with the help of AI tools. So the first thing you should do when writing a research paper is to make sure that all your notes are in one place. And for that, you can use Hypernotes. Hypernotes is a great platform for note taking and you can start using it during your literature survey process only. Whenever you come across a new paper, try to make notes and save it in Hypernotes so that later on, when you sit down to write your research paper, you can refer to all these notes which is going to be really helpful for you. So if you see here, I've created an introduction folder in Hypernotes and all the papers that I want to cite in my research work are all neatly parked here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these papers once more quickly brush through it so that I know what needs to go in the introduction section before I start writing it. Now that I know how to write the introduction section of my research paper, I'm going to use the help of another AI tool which is PaperPal. With the help of PaperPal, I will be able to improve the language of my research paper and make it more academic as well as professional. Other than that, PaperPal has so many features which is going to help me write a research paper faster and more effectively. So first here, if you see, I've already incorporated certain paragraphs that I would like to write in my introduction section. But here, these few lines, I have taken them directly from another research paper. And ideally, I should paraphrase it in order to avoid plagiarism. So for this, I am going to use the paraphrase feature of PaperPal. So all I need to do is click on rewrite and then choose paraphrase. And PaperPal will help me write it in a different way than what has been communicated in the original research paper so that I don't commit plagiarism. So there you go. These lines are now paraphrased and they look so much better. Also here I have few lines which I've written in a very casual tone. It doesn't look very academic. So again, I'm going to use another feature of PaperPal which is make academic. And with the help of this, I will be able to convert this casual conversational English into a more academic tone. So now if you see, this is looking much more academic and professional. Now I'm overall happy with my paragraphs, but I feel to further strengthen my introduction section, I should be adding a few more citations. And for this, I'm going to use the newly launched feature of PaperPal, which is research. Basically, what I'm going to do here is under the search section, I'm going to type my topic name on which I want to find a few more papers. For example, here I'm going to type super hydrophobic antibacterial fabrics. And there you go. So many papers are now popping up. So what I can do here is I can look at the abstract. I can see if these papers are relevant to me or not. And then accordingly, I can find the citations of these. Either I can go to the journal website or I can use the help of my reference management tool. And then I can easily cite these papers in my introduction section as well. So with the help of this particular feature, you can very easily find the research papers that you would need. Now that I'm done with the majority of my introduction section, I'm also going to generate the title of my paper with the help of PaperPal. So here I'm going to select my entire introduction section and then I'm going to go to templates and go for title. And here I'm going to click on generate. And there if you see, PaperPal has generated a very attractive and concise title for us. Now if I want, I can change a few words based on my liking and then I'm good to go. So if you want to explore all these different features of PaperPal, then I've put it in the description for you to check. Now for the graphics and the visual aspects of your research paper, you can use multiple AI tools to help you. For scientific diagrams, I would still recommend the good old Canva just because of the sheer ease of using the platform. Otherwise, another platform that you can explore is Inkscape. With the help of Inkscape, you can design scientific figures, drawings, graphs, diagrams, 
everything that you need for your research paper. The only drawback is that it is a learning curve and so you might have to spend some time learning the platform before you are able to design these things. However, there are multiple tutorial videos that are available on YouTube using which you can easily utilize this platform. Now for creating charts and graphs, I would recommend Matplotlib using which you can create multiple plot types including 3D and volumetric data. And finally for creating flowcharts, process maps, data flows etc. You can either use Lucidcharts or Microsoft Visio to help you with the same. Now while you are writing a research paper, it makes sense to use a reference management software parallelly so that you can cite and refer information at the same time. Now there are multiple reference management softwares that are available online. But my personal recommendation would be to go for either Mendeley, Zotero or EndNote. Mendeley and Zotero are free of course, so you can start using it immediately. Otherwise, EndNote is mostly used by academic institutions. However, it is paid. So here, all you need to do is upload your literature onto the platform and then choose the citation style that you'd like to go for. And then whenever you're writing a research paper, all you need to do is choose the paper from the reference management software that you would like to cite. And immediately a citation mark would appear there. And then at the bottom of your paper, you will see a reference section is created with the details of your paper neatly listed. Now say for example, you've completed the citation and references of your entire paper. And then suddenly you realize that there were two or three citations that you forgot to include. But with the help of reference management software, you can easily include them in the middle as well. And then you will see that automatically both the citations and the references are renumbered. So this is the benefit of using a reference management software as it saves you so much of manual effort. Now, once you are done writing your entire research paper, including graphics, citations, references, you should get your paper checked for accidental plagiarism. And for this, you can again use PaperPal. It makes sense to use one single platform for all your research writing purposes. So all you need to do here is upload your paper onto the platform and a plagiarism report will be generated for you. Now how to interpret this plagiarism report, correct your document and eliminate all the similarities highlighted in the report. You can check out my previous video where I've explained all these things in much more detail. Now if you wish to learn how to write a research paper in detail, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research writing and presentation. In this course, I cover from scratch, right from how to choose a research topic to how to write each and every section of a research paper, share many more AI tools that you can utilize for your research process, and finally, how to choose the best journals for publication. I share all this information in a structured approach so that you can understand this topic in depth. To know more, the link is in the description. And now, Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.